Well, finally made another video on this thing. I have uh, forgot slash uh, didn't feel like recording a lot of the stuff I've done. I think it looks a lot different from the last video. I don't remember what I showed last. But I don't... I don't know. I, the first... I don't know. I don't think I showed this. This radiator is for a um, 94, whatever, e, EG Generation Civic. It uh, fits in there pretty, pretty nice. Um, these are factory rails to hold the front end on. I just added some material there. Um, I use the factory fuel tank mounting bars there. Um, yeah, I. I just threw the exhaust header on. I'm going to have to modify it a little bit. Threw that on. Um, I did pull the wiring. I didn't show anything really, but I pulled the wiring harness out of the tracker. So, this is the main harness. I still haven't made the bottom mounts, but the ECU is going to mount right there. I made the top one bracket. I just have to make the bottom bracket. Um, yeah, the ECU mounts there. I've just been messing with the wiring a little bit. I'm waiting on a fuel pump, I got an inline uh, eBay, it says it's a 240 liter per hour, if it does half that, that'll be good enough for this really, um, just been working on getting the wiring to go, and I just actually had some success, I, I powered up all the pins that I needed to, the, um, measuring the fuel pump outlet here, the fuel pump relay control went to ground when I turned, uh, what would be the key on. Um, so I think the computer is actually booting up. It seems like it is. Um, and I heard the uh, one of the solenoid valves clicking away over there adjusting. Um, yeah, probably the idle air control. But uh, we're pretty, we're getting there I guess. I got the Heim joints there. Finally got the half 20 nuts for that. I have to make new tie rods, um, coolant lines, but I'm gonna try. If, if I get the fuel pump tomorrow, I'm gonna try and see if I can get this thing to try to fire, maybe. Um, I still have to hook up the mass airflow sensor. Uh, I'm probably just gonna get some tubing, connect it, and then a pod filter right after it for now until I make a new intake manifold. That's after this thing's running. Oh, and uh, yesterday I made an alternator bracket right here over on this side because the outlet of the radiator uh, over here was right where the alternator used to be. So, I pretty much just stuck uh, this. It clamped both of these to here. I had to put a little space around the front of the alternator pulley so you can see the thickness there does not match that. Um, it there, It's pretty closely lined up so it should be okay um, I just I used the factory mount it's hard to see down there but I just modified it a little to bolt on to where the AC compressor used to be and the coolant I wish I could rotate this water pump outlet but it's not equilateral here they're oddly spaced so you can't put it in any other position but this I might uh, custom make something, uh, probably out of uh, aluminum or steel, because I can't really get something injectionable. This is PA66. Can't really do that, and uh, I can't really 3D print anything that's going to work all that well for this. So, probably just make an aluminum outlet for it uh, that's all curved nice to go up to, um, or actually this. This is actually supposed to go to the lower hose over there. I don't know. I might make uh, something the curve around just go straight over and down uh, instead of having to make some big old tube deal around there. And our top outlet uh, right there. Uh, probably gonna cut this tube back, and I can run a hose down or a hard line and couple it onto there. Then I just have to uh, block off the heater core feed there. Um, I may or may not leave the EGR stuff hooked up. I might just leave it because why not? Um, I mean, this this is useless. The evap purge. So we don't have a charcoal canister on this or nothing, but whatever. We're we're gonna have a check engine light on. <laughs> so we're gonna have none of the EG, well. We won't have a cat. We won't have the O2 sensor for that. We won't have the EGR stuff. 
There's going to be no fuel tank pressure sensor. There's going to be no pur well, purge valve is going to be gone. The vent valve is going to be gone. Charcoal canister is going to be gone. It's all going to be gone. No, I mean, I could hook up all the emissions and this thing would actually work. When it was in the car, all the emissions equipment worked. Oh, and I have in this radiator, um, right, uh, those little fittings there actually are for the tranny cooler, so I have to make some fittings for that. Hook that up before I start it so it doesn't spray fluid all over. I might just, I'll probably just couple the hoses together for now to fire it. There's not, I drained the fluid out of the pan in there. There's no oil in the motor either, but the oil pan leaks on that thing. I gotta fix that. It's rotted. Yeah, this is just a quick little update video, I guess. I'll probably just post this. Um, oh, in the, the front end, I forgot. I, I don't even think I showed that. I might have quality. That came out really good. The front end. So it's basically the tubes like you've seen in the last video. Um, and this is square tubing, eighth inch wall on each side. And then this is, uh, I think, oh, what is it, 3 sixteenths plate maybe? I think it's 3 sixteenths plate. And that's all welded on to that. And I have to do the same plate on the bottom once I pull the motor. The next time we can flip the whole frame over and I have to do all, all the bottom reinforcing. The front end is pretty good. Um, once I put the heim joints on there, it's going to be almost no play. Right now, it's not that bad. The turning radius is okay. I mean, it could be better, but it's all it's three turns lock to lock. But the play, right, there's that's our wheel movement. That's about how much play it has right now. And with the heim joints, it'll be perfect because you can see these are all worn out. And hard to see underneath in there, but yeah, that's all worn, so, yeah, we're getting closer, getting closer to our startup, so, there's our little update video, oh, the next one will probably be of the first startup, I don't know, most of the stuff's done, I might record more, but we haven't posted a video for a couple weeks, so I might as well put something out, oh, Thanks for watching. <laughs> We're getting there. Start up as soon. Okay, there's gonna be a little second part to this video. Um, I uh, I don't. Oh man, I don't even remember the last part. Once again, these videos are getting bad. But uh, I already had the wiring harness and everything in a little bit. It's I mean it's a wreck right now. But anyway, in here you can see I have re uh, three relays. Um, this is the main relay. This is going to be a cooling fan, and that's fuel pump right there. Um, this is a little leftover uh, fuse panel we had from an ambulance came out of. Um, basically, this is the main power feed connector uh, for the fuel pump or the fuel pump, and the cooling fan right there. That goes to 30 amp fuse. Um, this connector right here is all of our relay coil controls. You ground each one of these to make the relay come on. Um, this is the power feed for the relay there, whatever. Um, but anyway, um, the computer, I have confirmed, does boot up. I uh, hooked the OBD port up, plugged the scanner in. I have live data on my sensors. I mean, I just checked throttle positions. That's all that I, you know, it's really easy to check. But everything was pretty much there. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, get, we're getting there. I mean, the, the wiring's cobbled right now, but you can see I... I did, you know, this This is all clean right there, so the rest of it will it'll be all clean once it's done. But, uh, yeah, because I mounted the computer in there solid. Um, that plate there just has holes in it for zip ties or whatever might end up there, you know, for wires or whatever. But, yeah, so she's starting to, starting to get there. Really, really mint. I still just have to put the uh, cam sensor in right there so we broke that off and we pulled the motor out and once that's in I hope it'll have spark. I had constant power at all the coils so once the cam sensor's in I think it'll have spark. Um, when I plug the scanner in it'll have three codes. Uh, IAT is unplugged because I don't have the intake snorkel in. Um, NOx sensor was unplugged somewhere I don't know where and uh, EGR uh, code which you know, we don't need emissions on this. I, I have the EGR valve plugged in, but I don't. It doesn't really matter. Um, 
I don't know where the knock sensor plug goes, but hmm, whatever. She's uh, she's almost there. She's almost ready for a first start. Next video, I think, will be a first start. Oh, and I uh, I got the fuel pump at China Special there. That's mounted under there. But yeah, next video is gonna be a first start. Almost ready. We're getting there. It'll be pretty soon.